With only a few hypersonic weapons in the world ready for combat, conventional missiles still rule the battlefield. Smaller rockets have proven vital in Ukraine's defense against Russia. Meanwhile, Russia has used a large number of conventional missiles to launch lethal strikes on civilian targets. With Vladimir Putin's nuclear threats, long-range intercontinental missiles and their megaton bombs are as important and deadly today as they've ever been. Number 1. Kinzhal Russia was the first to launch a hypersonic missile, the Kinzhal, from a MiG-31 fighter plane earlier this year. The Kinzhal is a modified version of the country's Iskander, a ground-launch ballistic missile, but it has updated aerodynamics and navigation technologies that allow it to maneuver more freely. The Kinzhal can avoid air defenses, notably the US Patriot surface-to-air missile, because of its sophisticated tail section and rudders. Kinzhal may carry either a conventional payload weighing 1,100 pounds or a nuclear weapon weighing up to 500 kilotons. Russia appears to be eager to demonstrate the weapon's capabilities. During the battle against Ukraine this year, Russia has shot at least three Kinzels with conventional warheads. So far, the results have been disappointing. One of the rockets misfired and landed within Russia, hurting six civilians, including a firefighter. Number 2. Zircon Russia's Zircon uses a supersonic combustion ramjet engine, also known as Gramjet, which can achieve speeds up to Mach 9. In contrast to rockets which are driven by an internal mixture of fuel and oxidizer, this air-breathing engine consumes and compresses oxygen in the same way that a jet engine does. According to reports, Zircon will be able to carry nuclear or conventional warheads and have a higher range and mobility than Russia's conventional short-range missiles. The weapon may be launched from submarine and ships, and a land-based version is also being developed. Russian officials claim to have successfully tested and commenced the manufacture of Zircon, but it has yet to enter service. At number 3, the AGM-183A Air Launch Rapid Response Weapon one aim for the United States as it strives to catch up with China and Russia's hypersonic missiles is to build weapons that can strike land targets quickly. The current JASSM air-to-ground missile used by the United States Air Force is subsonic, taking 20 minutes to reach a target to 50 miles distant. ARRW, a new hypersonic platform, will travel that distance in under a minute. ARRW is still in testing and is launched from an airplane using a boost glide system. A conventional missile accelerates to Mach 5 before detaching and gliding at high speed towards its target. In May and July of this year, the Air Force successfully tested ARRW from a B-52 bomber. Following that, Air Force authorities advised that the branch's fleet of B-1 stealth bomber and F-15 fighter jets be outfitted with hypersonic ARRW missiles. At number 4, the MGM-140 Army Tactical Missile System The Army Tactical Missile System is the U.S. Army's most powerful weapon. A 13-foot missile fired from the same high-mobility artillery rocket system rocket launchers that the U.S. has been supplying to Ukraine. While these systems conventionally carry six rockets, a reconfigured version holds just one of the jumbo-sized ATA-CMS rockets, which has five times the range. The Army initially armed the larger missile with a cluster bomb warhead to take out concentration of tanks, but most ATA-CMS now carry a 500-pound GPS-guided blast fragmentation warhead developed to destroy enemy command centers, radar installations, ammunition dumps, and air bases. Ukraine is pressing the U.S. to deliver Army tactical missile systems to further aid its defense, especially to hit longer-range targets like Russian drone bases in Crimea. At number 5, the Avangard According to the deputy head of Russia's Security Council, if Russia uses nuclear weapons in its fight against Ukraine, they will most likely be delivered by the country's newest hypersonic missile, the Avangard. This hypersonic glide vehicle, which attaches to a conventional ballistic missile and then detaches to glide at hypersonic speed towards its target, is a novel ICBM warhead. According to Russian officials, it might be installed on the country's RS-28 Sarmat heavy ICBM, branded as Satan II by NATO, which has a range of more than 11,000 miles. 
Normalized BM warheads take a predictable course, making them easy to intercept. Avangard, on the other hand, has jet-like movable control surfaces that allow it to change direction. Avangard is said to be capable of carrying a 2-megaton payload that is roughly twice as powerful as the most powerful nuclear weapon in the United States. Number 6. Dongfang-17 China, like Russia, is working hard to develop hypersonic weapons. The DFZF hypersonic glide missile propelled by the country's DF-17 aircraft carrier killer rocket is one of the most significant. While irregular missiles can be shot down by the U.S. carrier groups, this combination would be significantly more difficult. The DF-17, unlike most ballistic missiles, has a flat trajectory. It cruises at relatively low altitudes, making it difficult to spot from a great distance. The DFZF would then detach and glide at speeds above Mach 5 towards the target. The DF-17 is based on China's existing DF-16B short-range ballistic missile, and it was first observed in 2019 being transported by a 10-wheeled launch truck. China claims that the missile is already operational. That should make opposing naval fleets nervous. The weapon speed and mass makes it more lethal than existing anti-ship missiles, and the kinetic impact alone of one impacting ship at a mile per second would almost certainly cause catastrophic destruction. Number 7. The Zinkong 2 In 2018, China claimed it successfully tested a new hypersonic cruise missile unlike anything else. Similar to Russia's Zircon, the Zinkong 2 uses a scramjet engine, and it has the sleek silhouette of a stealth plane. But instead of wings, this missile is a wave rider. The missile effectively serves on its own hypersonic shockwaves, generating lift without the increased drag that wings create. The U.S. tested similar designs on the experimental X-51 from 2005 to 2013, but never produced a viable weapon. The Zinkong scramjet engine and wave riding design should make it highly agile with a long range, potentially with intercontinental reach. But despite successful testing, most analysts expect that this hypersonic is several years away from entering service. At number 8, the WZ-8 in 2019, China disclosed yet another big hypersonic project. This unmanned reconnaissance drone, known as WZ-8, is said to be the world's only hypersonic aircraft. The WZ-8 is transported by a mothership, such as the H-6K, a twin-engine bomber flown by China since 1969. After launch, the WZ-8 ignites rocket motors and cruises at speeds of up to Mach 7 at altitudes over 80,000 feet before returning for retrieval. WZ stands for Wu Zhen, or no detection, a word commonly used for stealth drones, therefore the WZ-8 will almost certainly have stealth features. The WZ, like the SR-71 before it, should be able to outrun surface-to-air missiles, making it a capable surveillance drone. Some observers fear China may equip the WZ-8 with a weapon and use it as an intelligence-gathering drone to launch a surprise attack. At number 9, the LGM-30 Minuteman 3. The United States Minuteman 3 is the most fearsome ballistic missile. For the past 50 years, it has served as the backbone of the United States' land-based nuclear arsenal and a crucial deterrence against nuclear attack. A stockpile of 400 missiles is stored in different locations in U.S. soil with launch teams on standby 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, ready to counterattack against any nuclear attack. The original Minuteman missiles, which were introduced in the 1970s, were equipped with multiple warheads. However, as a result of international nuclear accords signed in 2001, a Minuteman currently normally carries only a single 350 or 475 kiloton warhead. This is less potent than the nukes used to arm Russia's intercontinental missiles, but it is still 20 to 40 times more powerful than the Hiroshima bomb. The US believes that the weapon's accuracy eliminates the need for such a big nuclear payload. At number 10, the JL-2 China operates a fleet of nuclear subs armed with submarine-launched ballistic missiles as a retaliatory option against nuclear attacks. While land and air-based nuclear weapons might be destroyed in a surprise nuclear attack, submarines remain safely hidden underwater. 
their ability to counter punch creates a strong deterrent. Part of China's rapid naval expansion includes plans to grow its submarine fleet from four Jin class subs to 12. Each of them will carry 12 JL 2 nuclear armed SLBMs. And each missile will carry up to eight warheads, the most allowed by international nuclear treaties. Although smaller than the US Trident D5 SLBM, the JL 2 is still potent with a range of more than 4,500 miles and capable of reaching speeds of Mach 20. At number 11, the Hwasong-15 While Russia and China push ahead with hypersonics and other advanced concepts, conventional weapons still pose the most immediate threat. North Korea has been steadily developing its ballistic missiles with the range needed to attack the US. The Hwasong-15, transported on a mobile 18-wheel launcher, is North Korea's most powerful weapon. Analysis of a test firing in 2017 suggested that it can hit targets more than 6,000 miles away, putting mainland America within North Korea's range for the first time. This is a larger version of the Hwasong-12 that North Korea test-fired over Japan this past October. The missiles, although generating behind what the US, China and Russia possess, are now capable of delivering a nuclear warhead to almost any spot on the globe. And that's it from the buzz for today. Thank you guys for viewing in. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.